So jumping right into the anomaly tree, we're just going to go void touch into the time bubble, extra time for the time bubble, uh, the extra duration, the extra increased crit rate, attack rate, cooldown recovery so that our anomaly can stay up. And then just a little leech. Rive, we go all the way over to Ripples of Oblivion. Uh, weapon specialist is super pop or super important for this one. That's how we scale our void damage. And then we're also taking the uh, forge weapon route here for Foe Cleaver and Scrap Metal. Let's get us a little extra armor. And then uh, we want the, the pull for Rive, super strong. And then Brutality is an extremely powerful node. And then base crit rate for Rive, pretty straightforward. Void Cleave, we actually are doing a fair bit of damage with this for our wave. So we're taking Deadly Omen. And then we're taking the uh, Resonating Cleave so we can cast Abyssal Echoes. So we're going to actually have to cast it ourselves. And then, of course, Gravity's Edge to make it a move mobility skill. Riftmaker is a pretty good node as well if you wanted to reduce your crit uh, requirement. <clears throat> Screaming Rifts is super important for the armor shred in this build. That way we don't need healing hands or anything like that. And then we also get increased uh, armor shred effectiveness, extra attack speed, and time rot chance here to amplify other damage as well through the, through the skills. Um, time sap, warp time, extremely powerful. Catching up's not really super necessary. You could drop that. Um, time loss wisdom, I really like uh, for the cooldown and then terminal void riff. A food for worms and um, the harbinger of dust node are kind of really equal in damage output. So you could take either one that you want. It's kind of flexible there. Uh, we're taking juggernaut into fearless, armor clad for some DR, and then valiant charge for CDR on the cool on the mobility skills. You can trade some time and faith points for or more mobility skill cooldown if you want kind of flexible there um extra health here flat void damage the leech extremely powerful more flat extra crit multi from 1.1 to here the uh, the kill threshold super nice time rot chance then the extra void damage with the time rot chance extra vitality echo chance extra echo chance more echo chance movement skill and void damage really nice nodes and then extra vitality and health extra extra nice there then going into the gear you want a leonines with vitality and strength we ran an omni i had a 3 lp titan hard a 2 lp apathy with flat void uh, phantom grips with crit damage a 2 lp shadow change with health or with crit rate on the ring sorry crit damage on the relic some boots with some stats on them and then i would have liked to have some uh Eternal Gauntlets, but just couldn't find a good pair. And then health and resistance on the on the idols there. And the long idol there, actually, with the crit damage and the armor shred, I found super powerful. If you think your armor shred is kept, you can just run some one of the void damage ones instead, or just more health idols, something like that. But uh, yeah, that is the build. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And this wasn't really much of a guide, more so just my experience with it so far. Um, and showing a little bit of what I did with the build. Um, I'll leave, leave some extra echo clips at the end of this. Um, it's very much an objective rush kind of build. Uh, it does it really good on bosses because of the Apathy's Maw. It does pretty good damage with Rive. Um, if I could have had one, a 2 LP with attack speed and flat, that would have been a much better situation. And I probably would have pushed a little higher corruption, but I slammed so many of them. I just couldn't get one. Um, so with the cycle reset coming, maybe I'll find one in Legacy and try and get it at some point or something like that. But that'd be about it. Um, and yeah, would I recommend the build? Sure, it was fun. Uh, I think a racing strike's probably more well positioned or something like that. So, yeah, have a good one, guys.